It's, it's pretty much impossible to be in a bad mood when you're playing the ukulele. So it's just, it's just a happy instrument. I think the trend with ukulele started um, probably around 2006 or so. There was a gentleman named uh, Is Kamaka Ovioli. He did this song. It was kind of a mix of Over the Rainbow and What a Wonderful World. But for some reason, that killer song just really took off around that time. The tiny but mighty ukulele is the star at the strum shop in downtown Roseville. While guitars, banjos, mandolins, and other instruments share the wall, the uke plucks the heartstrings of most customers. Okay. Uh, let me show you a chord. With just four strings, it's easy to pick up basic chords. It's also lightweight, making it popular with kids and seniors alike. And I'll have it, Michelle add pictures to that and we'll get it. Owner Dan right. Elliott runs the Strum Shop side by side with his father and business partner, Dan Elliott Sr. The most rewarding for me is the people that come in here, the families who come in with little children and they want to start them on an instrument and I get to engage the little children and it feels good to be a, a, a part of a, a, a store that's not a store that's a community music center where we can share music in the lives of the Roseville community. On just about any given day, you'll find something happening at the Strum Shop. 14 instructors teach private music lessons. There's also group classes for the uke and guitar, along with free monthly workshops, music clubs, and straight up jams. And every week, string groups perform as part of Roseville's downtown Tuesday nights. When Dion wanted to open the shop, he had been working in a music store at that time, so I knew that he had enough background to handle it. It was a little unsure because we didn't know, you know, if it's going to be successful or not. Could we pay our bills? But it just took off right away. This dedicated community became especially important when the Elliots suffered a huge personal and professional loss. Stu Harriet co-founded the Strum Shop with Dan Elliott in 2012. At the time, Stu's ukulele club needed a place to meet. Dan and Stu combined their vision to create a music store and event space. Everything changed in 2016 when Stu suddenly passed away. It was a sad day when Stu passed. We knew he went to a better place and had a uh, a better eternity, but we missed him, and we miss him still. Stu was really the uh, public face of the store. Um, I was more of the behind the scenes kind of guy, whereas he was out front uh, leading the groups, uh, the various jams and all of those things, and, um, and people loved him. In the wake of Stu's death, Dan Sr. stepped up his involvement with the store. Same intervals as a guitar, the bottom four strings. Meanwhile, his son took on more of a public role. And although Stu may be gone, his legacy lives on through his daughter, Danny Joy. She's a professional singer and uke player. And like her father, she teaches music lessons at the strum shop. When I got home from school in 2010, my dad gave me ukulele as my uh, graduation gift, even though I had a design degree. I said, no, Dad, I'm an artist, you know. And then I picked up the ukulele and suddenly just opened up a whole new world for me. Stars shining bright above you. Night breezes seem to whisper, I love you. So when I very first started teaching, I knew how to play. I just didn't have my training in music from school. And uh, I was very nervous, but my dad said, you know, stay a lesson ahead for the first few months and you'll and keep learning, 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 learning as fast as you can. And eventually, you know, every question will be answered when they come in, which is, you know, very nearly there. Dream a little dream of me. Danny's is not the only career that was launched from this music shop. Dan's wife, Sharon, owns a separate small business making shoulder straps for ukuleles called Sharon's Threads. I did start off as the accountant 
uh, or bookkeeper for the store, but then when I started my business and it took off, I had to actually uh, lay myself off from that job. <laughs> when we first opened the store, we were people were asking us for uh, straps specifically for the ukulele. I knew my wife had the ability to make uh, straps, and then she decided to uh, give it a try, and, and it turned out to be a big hit. Everyone with ties to the Strum Shop shares a deep passion for music. Randy Clark is the shop's repair guy, and he's as adept at restringing a guitar as he is strumming the banjo. As Dan knows, life can change in an instant. So for now, he plans to keep living each day for his passions, music, and the community that's embraced him. I plan to be here at the music store until the day I die. I have no aspirations to do anything but what I'm doing right now.